Do you love cross stitch? But not so much threading your needle. I'm pretty sure it's a struggle we all have. So in this video, I'm going to share my top three tips for getting it done. Hi there, stitchy friends. It's Kat from Catkin and Lily here to help you up-level your cross stitch game with tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you get the most joy out of your stitching. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, let's get started. I absolutely adore cross stitch, but there are a few little things that can be frustrating, and threading your needle is one of those. One of the features of cross stitch or tapestry needles is that they have a bigger eye than some other types of needle to make threading them a little bit easier. Easier maybe, but easy? No. But you can't get far without threading your needle, and there are some ways to make the process a little bit less frustrating. So in this video, I'm going to share three tips that I think will really help you out. And I think it's not unreasonable to say that tip number three might just blow your mind. So tip number one is to wet the ends of the threads so you can flatten them slightly between your fingers and that'll make it easier to pass through the eye of the needle. How you wet them is entirely up to you. I have to be totally honest here and say that I lick the ends of my threads to do this, but if that's not your cup of tea, you could keep a moist sponge next to you or maybe a shallow bowl of water. I'll make this a two for one tip here because along the same lines, if the ends of your thread are looking a little bit fluffy and this can happen when you go back to a partially used thread, then give them a little trim because neatly cut ends will always be easier to pass through the needle. So tip number two is to look for a needle with a slightly bigger eye. This might sound fairly obvious, but Different brands of needles do have different size and shape eyes, so it's worth looking to see if there's one that particularly suits you. Alternatively, you could try a petite needle, as these actually have a bigger eye. Now they are a little bit shorter, so it depends if that suits you or not, but it's worth trying. And now, tip number three, which I'm sure you've all been eagerly waiting for, and that's that you might be threading your needle from the wrong side. Yes, that really is a thing. An interesting fact that you might not know about needles is that they actually have a right and a wrong side to the eye. So if you have trouble threading your needle, flip it 180 degrees and try from the other side. This is because when needles are manufactured, the eye is stamped out from one side to the other. So it's always smoother going through in one particular direction. And I can't tell you how often this has been the one thing that worked for me when I've been really struggling to thread my needle. So there you have it, three tips to help you get that thread into that needle. And my final piece of advice is try not to get too frustrated with it if it takes a few attempts. Just take a deep breath, flip that needle 180 degrees and try again. I still love it when I thread my needle on the first attempt. And if you're still really struggling to thread your needle, then there are these little things called needle threaders. I personally don't use them, but they're there for a reason. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then please make sure to subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Thank you so much for watching and happy stitching.